Well, this is the Astro Future Podcast. Today we have Divine African, Odie, <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> and we're going to be talking some shit. Um, so yeah, to start off. Um, uh, well, like you said, though, my name is Divine African. Um, I'm a music artist. Actually, I'm an artist. Artist, in general. Artist. Yeah. That's the thing, is you do the animation, you do artwork. Yeah. You do, I do music. You do lots in general. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times like I've been asked the same question and yeah. I still don't have the answer. Like people are like a lot of people are like, Do what what can't you do, dog? You know? And uh, I like you. Know, <laughs> and you people. just do all of it. Dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's cool like that though, dude. It's like it's fun to mess around with in terms of like genres or things. True. Because there's so much knowledge in like the little things, you know. Yeah. Like, in, in everything that you try out, like every once in a game in your life. Yeah, it's crazy how all of these things correlate as well, dude. Like, if you learn one skill in one place, it could be useful in the next place as well. And yeah. another place. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. yeah, it's so true. I mean, um, there's some electives that I took in um, in varsity that I, I don't necessarily, I didn't necessarily take seriously at the time. Mm-hmm. At first, like when I actually started doing those courses, I was like, I'm never gonna use these things again. Mm-hmm. But now, um, I'm not doing as much animation, but more video editing, and, like doing commercials and stuff. Oh, so wow. now I'm using like those elective skills to get these jobs done, so that I can make enough money for me to do like my animation. Which is dude, for me. I'm literally in the same boat, dude. I do other things that it's like. With corporate shit and ads and stuff like that for money, mm. then besides that, I just do whatever the fuck I want to try and make cool things. Mm. Mm. But I don't actually do that much animation anymore, sadly. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what, what are you doing now? Like more video editing? I, I it's you... also video editing, yeah. Okay. But then also, like, well, for work side, it's a lot of video editing, mm. putting things together, okay. shit like that. But it's not really like animating, as in like designing assets and putting them together. Okay. But besides that, I'm also like, Filming music videos. Oh damn. Yeah, like just I'm trying to get into the filming side, dude. Okay, so are you like love freelance it. doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm running it through my company, but it is also like freelancing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, let's go. But yeah, go. it's also just trying to like. The weird thing with this as well is I, I learned so many things as well, so I can jump into whatever I need to do. Because mm. sometimes there'll be work for photography, or sometimes there'll be work for that. Mm. Or none of the above for this yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, it is it's nice to have a lot of different things, like as skill sets. Mm. So I can just go do any of them if I need to. Yeah, true. Yeah. Because yeah, man. Um, and on your side, I see you dropping tunes all the time now, dude. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm actually, like, I'm trying to shoot a music video for... You know, song I released at the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. Mosh Pit. Yeah. I love that song. When I perform it, it's always like, yo. Oh, it looks crazy I'm from that Mosh video Pete. as well, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> looks like uh, a dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, so, I want to shoot a music video for that. So, that, oh, that might be something I drop this year. Mm-hmm. If things go the way, I hope they go. Oh, wait. Well. Yeah. So, you're still planning making it happen? Yeah, 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 putting it together. Yeah, but at the moment, as you speak, um, I'm working on a mixtape mm-hmm. titled Simp Villain. Simp Villain? Yeah, we are a simp bed, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like we, the names we send. Yeah. We use like that, but also the concept of being a villain. Oh, we yeah. put those, those two words together. Did you ever like Doom, dude? Yeah, Doom or MF Doom? Yeah. Or, like MF Doom, rap. yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. But um, also, that somehow triggered that for me, dude. I was yeah. like, fucking doom, dude. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was also into the, like, the villain side of things and shit yeah. like that, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're trying that out. But we're using a lot of, like, trap type of instrumentals. Mm. And uh, there's the thing, yeah, the trap soul kind of vibe also at some point in the tape. But I'm structuring it like an album. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the way I'm going about this whole, like, music project thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, shit's gonna be cool, dude. I'm yeah. excited to see it as well, dude. Yeah. I can't wait to see like the visual aspect of it, though, like seeing and having that unfold. But like watching it as it happens. Mm. So for now, you're just doing the draft, and then afterwards, you get to see where it goes. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. It's not bad. It is quite nice, like that, dude. Yeah, that's being an artist as well, man. Mm. I don't think I would have ever, ever be, able, be able to to cope if I was in like, the corporate world. You know? Yeah, so, dude. Thank you. Uh, dude, I like I often also think of that. I'm like, okay, I'm doing some of that for work, but it's also like I can walk away. It's not like I, I'm locked into this place. Mm-hmm. Because also as an artist, there's a lot of freedom to move around. True, bro. Like, yeah. it's hard to make money still, but, like, fuck, yeah. dude. As long as you have, <laughs> like, the creative freedom to do what you want to do, mm. that for me is... But yeah. you also need the drive, though, dude, then. True. Because <laughs> yeah. if you aren't driving, dude, then, like, nothing's getting made, dude. But imagine being, like, getting paid for pitching dope ideas. That would be like a dude. I yeah, can, like, I can come like up with some shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Kind of environment. And the stuff that you do, like those ideas that you that you make up, you have a whole team of people who can put that shit to to reality though. Yeah. yeah. I'd love that as well, dude. Like a couple more people like on my team yeah. to get shit done. Mm-hmm. Like because at the moment as one man it's hard to do quite a bit of things. Yeah. Like, even this, just to do on my ace is weird, dude. Like, if I had to make it loud, mm. I'd actually need someone there behind the camera. Mm. Or, like, managing the audio or something like that. And, like, I'd like to do shit like that. Someone I need someone... Doing editing, like, on site. Yeah. yeah. I'd need someone to do general editing for me, dude. Editing, like, is fucking time consuming. Yeah, it's dude. Not, dude. Like, when I just have footage on footage on footage of, like, shit. Mm. And, like... Yeah, also until I get my new computer, I can't do anything with that footage, dude, because yeah. the computer now is just fighting, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but you're getting a new one soon. That's yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, then I'll be able to go through all of that footage, dude, and sort it out, dude. Because I'm always going out taking photos and stuff, and then I'll just put it on the hard drive, put it on the hard drive. Yeah. And then as soon as I have to go edit, I'm just like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish not. Yeah. Um, for, for me, it's been the animation process, dude. Mm. Um, yeah, that I'm working on my own animation series. Oh, wait, fuck uh, you, dude. Like, I've done all the sketches. Well, not all of them, in terms of like the characters that I've got. I've conceptualized about 34 to 40 characters. Yeah, that's quite a bit, dude. Yeah, but like, so it's like on, an entire world creation. Though. Yeah. Oh, like, wait. I'm trying to create an entire universe. You know? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, so I've started sketching out a few of the characters. Now the hard part is modeling, like having 3D models. That's made. very time consuming. Yeah, and I'm doing Extremely time consuming. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for, well, to see how that unfolds. Yeah. Have you ever messed around in grease paint for dude? Mm, in Blender? Yeah. No. Dude, that's actually crazy, dude. Mm. Like a while back when I was still messing around a little bit, dude. Yeah. Like. Dude, that shit is crazy. As far as workflow goes, it will increase shit by like 10. Mm. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. But then also, that's like a lot more 2D vibes. Okay. But then what kind of a, like a look are, would you like, go for? Like, um, Pixar, Incredibles. Oh, wait. You know, like that kind of texture. Almost real life. Like, mm. the environment is real textures and like, uh, your clothing is real texture on clothing. Yeah. But the characters, because of like how caricature they look in some sort of type of way. Like oh, so it's all characters. like real, but they just moved around to... Well, like the, the environment yeah. is real, but because of like how oddly shaped the characters are, you can tell that this is an animation, an animated universe. Mm. Like it's not... Fair enough. Yeah, it's not too real. You add a little bit of style into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's the goal of that. Yeah. Yeah. But... Fucking blender is dope though, dude. Yeah. It's still one of the trippiest like things I've ever had to look at. Yeah. And then like once I know what to do on it, yeah. like you know, as well after sitting there for years, when you like use the yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. when you actually realize what it is, it's a mind fuck. Yeah, dude. sure. Because like it's literally just a blank page which can make anything on it, like anything, and it's three D oh, and it's dude. it's fucking crazy. Yeah. That is one of the greatest experiences that I had personally when I like realized that. I could build a planet mm. in this computer of mine. I could even make stars. I could it's a mind for the creation of the entire galaxy. Even there, just like putting every single 
pizza. Or yeah. Yeah. That is the one thing that I love, like with animation compared to like filming or something. Mm. It's like filming is like you sort of capture what's already existing. Mm. So like with animation, it's helped me like see layers. So like, oh, here's rocks, here's this, here's that. So I can be like, okay, there's depth. Yeah. Here's this is what I want in the scene mm-hmm. and all of that. Mm-hmm. But then in animation, you make it all of that yourself. And it's weird mm-hmm. to go from scratch and build it to where it is. It's never actually what it started was, yeah. like as. Yeah, that's and then just true. evolves, 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 yeah. evolves. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Because it's hard to comprehend all of that at once either. Mm-hmm. Like when you're coming up with a concept. Yeah, it also takes practice though for you to to really take what that gives you have with your mind and like really make it the way that you see it in your head. Yeah. You know sometimes like like when you're drawing, you have a certain expectation of what this drawing is to look like because of what you are looking at or tracing. Yeah. But when you take the real one out of the picture and you look at what you've got, then you feel like nah, I could have done better or anyway, it's it's like what I had in my mind. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like Brandon really does help me. I'm actually like practice with Brandon. Yeah. I'm a me. lot like that with like drawing as well. Mm. Like I have like many drawing skills. I can only done. Yeah. But yeah. on a computer I fuck shit up. Yeah. The the drawing the drawing wise I'm terrible <laughs> yeah. 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 Like I can come up with enough to like see a concept, but it's weird. Yeah. Like for me personally, like I thought like when I, before I went to go do animation, you know, still studying civil, mm. I started drawing, 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 drawing to try like develop a portfolio, mm. so I could do animation. Mm-hmm. And it turns out you don't need drawing at all. Mm. It's a, like for concept, yeah, like just expressing and sharing concepts, mm. or at least like for you yourself to be able to like pick up where this is going. Mm. But yeah, on a computer digitally, it's it's a completely yeah. different world, dude. Yeah, true. Uh, what are your favorite classes? At, at, at favorite classes? Yo, dude. Probably motion design. Okay. Animation, I like the lectures. I didn't like the class too much. <laughs> like <laughs> some of the lectures. <laughs> yeah. But um, motion design, definitely, dude. Motion was crazy, dude. It was Chris and then Jan as well. Mm-hmm. Those are like hands down some of the greatest lectures like I've ever had in my life. Because yeah. cool. also there were two like very different people, mm. which was nice to be exposed to. Yeah. Like Chris was a lot more like free spirit, let's say, yeah. and like more creative. Mm-hmm. And then Jan was more like attention to detail and like, like they just had two very different personalities to be like influenced by like as a student. Okay. So it was quite cool to see both sides, like the precision part and the creative part from two different people. Mm. That's what I feel like, like watching things on YouTube can't get you. Yeah. Like compared yeah. to the college experience, dude, like, yeah. yeah. Can you get hands on, you know, yeah, like the experience up front as well. Mm. Yeah. And also being in a class with other people that do it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and you, what was your favorite, dude? Uh, well, 3D was definitely one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I only started using Blender at Wells I did it mm-hmm. as well before. Uh, um, music production too. That was a dope class. Actually, my last presentation, um, we had to make a score for the film and TV students' films. Mm-hmm. The ones that they want to present the Daniel Brian Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we had to like collaborate with the the film and TV students. And then make them the, like a score for the yeah, film. For the films, yeah. And how was that as an yeah, experience? It was pretty dope. Pretty cool experience. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, so what we did, oh, what I did for my um, um, film and TV students is that at the end, the end credits. Mm-hmm. So you know, usually at the end credits, there's like a different track that's playing. In the background, just like that. So what I did is I performed that um, credit credit roll score. I performed it live, like at the presentation. While it was playing. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Dude. Yeah. So like 
dancers. So it's like a mixture of like visual art and audio art and everything. And actual like performance. performance. And performance, yeah. yeah. So yeah, dog, like that. I like that I could be that free in terms of making a concept or even just presenting a final product. Mm. So yeah, that is definitely what I feel in classes because of that. Yeah. And also sound that far, did you learn how to produce that far, or did you learn how to produce I that didn't far? do sound design, I actually stopped doing it um, in second year, and then mm-hmm. that's when music production came to work. Okay. So, yeah, my third year, that's when I... And then you did music production? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, that's also like a whole other side skill to learn on its own. Yeah. yeah. I did do storyboarding though. Hmm. Storyboarding is like that, but I don't know, for me, it was just my drawing skill that I had to catch up to. <laughs> but it is like it's still there. Yeah. Like, also, like the conceptualizing of things part, like bringing things together and like planning too, yeah. which yeah. is very fun, like in the aspect of that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, like, how have you been feeling for this last year? So, with all the things going on, I know yeah. that's quite a rough question to throw out there. But like, man. like, yeah, I was seeing more of you back in twenty twelve before all of this, dude. Like, oh. <laughs> so it's been a different time in between, dude. Yeah, it really has. Yeah, uh, yeah bro. This the past few year and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have been. Crazy dog, like it's a it's a roller coaster. Um, COVID mm. hit um, whilst I was still finishing my studies. Mm. Um, I had to go to online mode. You know, so. Yeah, I'm glad I don't that, but it sounds rough to be real. Dude. Yeah, I mean, to a certain extent, it was pretty cool because mm. now instead of having to wait on campus or waste money taking public transport and going on campus, yeah, time, like, moving around, yeah. Right, you know. And I have my own PC that I could do the work on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. And also the personal reason, space as well, which is not. Exactly. Your own time frames for doing things. Exactly. The mm. only reason I'm going to campus is to render on like seven PCs at the same time. Yeah. I wish I had that option still, my dude. Yo, Yo dude. <laughs> the option to render on lots of PCs, wow. dude. <laughs> 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 if only, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, man. But, uh, you know, but once grades had finished and graduated this year, mm. um, that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, it's a lack of relief when you got when you got this today. Yeah, it really is. Because it's quite a process to get it to. Yeah. It's not easy at all. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. Um, um a lot of people passed away as well that I know. Mm-hmm. During the course for like a year and a half. It's gone by. So there has been a lot then. Yeah, there has been a lot then. Yeah. It's been a lot. Um, but on the upside of things as well, um, I started doing more gigs, mm-hmm. you know, getting more commissions as well for work. Yeah. Um, so I'm getting cash to like support this dream that I have for my animation series. Um, yeah. Yeah, building my studio. It's wild to um, fund all of this, right? especially yeah. when you have so many ideas. Yeah. And then somehow got to work as well in between yeah. to fund this and then try to do it as well at the same time. It's all work extremely work time consuming yeah. things, dude. <laughs> but I feel like. But it's good that things are coming together, dude. Yeah. 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 So it's been pretty fun, man. Also, pretty challenging, but fun. And performing in general? Oh, that's been cool. I've been mean, performing. In... Dude, that, it sounds like just a wild thing just to do in a laptop. No, dude, dude. it's dope, like, bro. Just different, dude. Yeah. Especially like if like in your music videos and you check out losing their shit, dude. It must be <laughs> the weirdest experience to just be making something and everyone's just like, yeah. That like, is the best feeling, actually, bro. Like the fact that yeah. someone is vibing out to your music like that. Like they, they feel that about your music. Mm. Like the fact that someone can sing lyric for lyric, word for word to your track because it's that dope to them. Okay, that is a mindfuck, dude. Uh, that's an awesome experience. Bro. Yeah. That's why I made it. 
way too enjoyable. Mm. I do make movies for myself though, as well. Mm. But the thing is that I'm sure like all of us as artists also have like partial things we do for ourselves as well in between. Because for me it's also like art for me in general, like not music and performing though. But like art for me in general has been like a coping mechanism throughout my my life. So I'd go to art sometimes and express some ideas I couldn't put in words. And then I'd walk away from that and then be like, oh wait. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Just because in words, I'm just like, fuck. (laughs) Words are hard, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like in high school, it was the same thing for me, yo. Grade eight and nine and ten, like I put a lot of my focus in the arts, cause I wasn't really like kind of cares to fit in back then. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I diverted all my focus to like the craft of the arts. It's only like grade eleven and maturity I started like doing more sporty. You know, kind of events, but I've always been an artist. Um, so it's just like naturally one of those things that come to you, dude. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I'm a f- I'm dancing, I'm sure, also helps a lot with performing. Yeah, it does like this freedom of movement. Yeah, and knowing how to utilize the stage, too. Yeah, yeah, because if I did that shit, I might just be locked up like changing my foot, jamming. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I have enough energy to move around that much, dude. I don't know. It's in the music, bro. Yeah. Like, you just feel it in the music when you just, like, translate your body. Mm. There's no other way to explain it. Like, some things, yes, that are choreographed, you, you need to learn and master. But mm. for you to get the rhythm of your body, it's just to feel the music. And just to flow within it, dude. Yeah. Like, there's no... I can't really explain the love of music in words as well. Like the same mm. thing. I gotta put it in the music. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's the beautiful part about music is like it is like a free expression for you, dude. Mm. And it is like like poetry with beats, dude. Like with like rap, <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. But like literally, it is just like sharing concepts, ideas, and like feelings. Yeah. With some beats at the back, which is power, dude. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's pretty cool, bro. Mm. Yeah, it is. It is. But then also with your tunes, you're also like, like Deco, dude. Mm-hmm. You, you add in a little bit of the past as well. Yeah. And a little bit of, like, you can ask why you do that? Well, is it like inspiration mom, or is it? Well, my mom has always like drilled the idea of black consciousness. Mm-hmm. Like, in me growing up and everything. So, um, I've been doing, I have been, and still are, and I still am doing um, research on the ideas of like black consciousness and the guys that that is behind all of that actually. Yeah. Yeah, Steve Biko is definitely one of my top icons, like people that I look up to mm. in, in our history. Yeah. Just someone that brought for the game changer, dude. Yeah, it was for the youth as well, bro. Like he, yeah, he did it his way. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh, I think. As a country, as young people as well, like we're all searching to find our way to like. I don't want to just say live, but to be alive, we're all trying to find different yeah. ways to be alive. You know, yeah. For this planet, so I feel like it's my duty to to do it my way, but to inspire others to to do it their way mm. as well. You know, and I feel like the the best way that I know how to do it is through the arts, like. Be it music, be it animation series, be it um, whatever form it may express, and exactly. find a way to make it work. Dude. Exactly. I'll do it, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the inspiration behind all of that. Okay, yeah. I'll do it, dude. And then, like as far as black consciousness goes, can you explain that a little bit? So, black consciousness is rooted really in in identity, mm-hmm. um, but more so. Like self awareness, mm. you know. Um, it was it was Steve Biko who who narrated on the idea that uh, it's not about being anti white. It's more about being like pro black, and by pro black, I mean for for decades, for centuries, you know. Um, the whole idea of slavery was like. 
Yeah, it's ruined a, a lot of mental. It's sadly something that's existed in the past. Yeah, some people still carry because the past is twenty yeah, five years like ago for some. The wounds of it all, yeah. like the, the scars of this shit has, has really affected a lot of a lot of black people in, in township communities or in yeah. village communities that still have like the slave mentality. Mm. So black consciousness was brought forth to break those. And also chains. probably bring education for the average. Yeah, so that's something that was. The proud yeah. of the part of yeah. 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 Wow. So that's that's yeah. That's where that comes from. Mm. The thing is like weirdly enough, like people like Killer Mark. Yeah. I don't know if you know Killer Mark. Mm-hmm. But uh he's like a rapper as well. Okay. And I like I like a lot of the things that he shares. It is like very like let's say black orientated. Yeah. But in general, what he's saying makes complete sense to me. Mm-hmm. So it's like quite trippy, like to not think about it as something like that, mm-hmm. like the whole black white this that, and just be like concepts being shared mm-hmm. and people and groups putting in the effort to share such concepts. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. it's different because dude, I've I've gotten weird education from all sorts of places, dude. Mm-hmm. Even like KRS one, dude. Okay. Very interesting guy if you ever watch his lectures. Like, okay. <laughs> you know, they whoop whoop at the front of the police. That guy. Nah. <laughs> that guy, dude. Nah, Weirdly enough, like, he also spit bars, dude, about some crazy, like, different things. Yeah. But also, like, weirdly enough, within, like, the context of his speaking, it is often more black. Mm. But it is more, like, actually a general idea underneath it. I think it's more just how they explain it mm. or like things they maybe identify with personally mm. yeah mm. Mm. but the whole concept of all of it is quite confusing to me in general though yeah because like if i went overseas now i'm 100 percent african but if i say i'm african it's a confusing topic <laughs> like <laughs> but, <laughs> but then like if africans that say they're african overseas mm. Don't know that, yeah, people are Zulu, Kosa, Sutu, or Christian, or whatever they identify as. Like, it's it's not quite as simple as it sounds. Yeah, it's not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a mind fuck, yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. And it's hard for everyone to try to understand any of this. Exactly. Because who the fuck talks about I mean, this, what, like, what <laughs> other country in the world do you know that has, like, more than 11 official languages? Yeah. In the country alone. That's crazy. 11 official languages. Which Plenty. Means 11 official traditions. Which means 11 official, like... There's Different like, ways of living within one space. Exactly. Yeah. So... But I think that's our huge advantage in Africa. Because it's so different, we open to it. Because it's not like a, like binary in a way. Yeah, it's not I not this guy's like this, not uh, this guy's like this. It's like literally anything goes here. It the could literally is. be anything. See, I get that. I get that. Like, it, it's a positive thing. Like, um, um, we're still diverse, like, as a nation, right? But yeah, it's dope that we're diverse, and like, I feel like that's a that's a great characteristic to have as a nation. It is a great value to have as a nation. Yeah, but, embracing differences. Yeah, but if. It, it needs to be honest about whether or not it puts a limit on its diversity. Because some of this so called rage produced by the, 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 the ideas of a, a certain type of democracy or a certain type of diversity has spawned things like um, xenophobia. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now, and it's hard to like. It's hard to to differentiate between being xenophobic and being factual about certain things that have happened in yeah. our nation because of people outside. The thing that's confusing for me is like, let's say Nigerians is an example. Mm. Oaks can jump to that and think whatever they think. Mm. But my experiences in life is like when I was younger. Like a lot younger, I used to buy weed mm. and happen to be Niger dudes. Mm. I had chilled experiences with them the whole time. Yeah. 
obviously it was dodgy still, <laughs> but it was it was before it was legal. <laughs> but yeah, and then besides that experience, I had this other lecturer when when I studied civil engineering before. Uh, I came to open window and I met all of you and then yeah, mm. but this Nigerian guy, Mr. Henry, mm. is literally one of the lead ins like spirals for me to chase off. Yeah. So he happened to come from another country here, and he inspired the fuck out of me. Dude. Yeah. Like <laughs> to move yeah, forward, yeah. like it's trippy, dude. Yeah. Because he like weirdly enough, one of the things he said, he's like, go make the cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and really enough, I started thinking about it and I was like, fuck, I'll do that. Let me try that out and get our stand in the future, dude. Yeah. It's a I man, fuck, it's, it's but it's just like people are very different. It's very yeah. weird to try like to generalize to any point of exactly. what it is. Exactly. I think people's intentions just need to be pure, bro. Mm. Like, you know, um, if you're going to come to South Africa to steal, lie, cheat, you know, do all the crazy shit that you're not supposed to be in there. Because you're asking for shit. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. If you're going to be a, a valuable member of society and value in, 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 in the most positive like of things, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, I mean, you, you, have, you had a teacher that like, has filled your, your heart with memory that you won't forget, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's why you become a I have friends who are from outside of the country. Yeah. You know, a couple of works in our college are actually not from. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, no, I think, it, like you said, I think it's it, it's about the, the intention. Like, why? Yeah. You can you can move anywhere in Africa. Like, we're one continent. Like, yeah. if anything, there should be, like what Patek was trying to do, have a central rail. The railway station mm. going throughout Africa. That would be dope. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The thing is, like, for me, like, weird enough within this, I don't believe in, like, centralization of yeah. power. So, like, a one Africa would freak me out a little bit under current political standpoint. Okay. But if we were to open borders mm. and operate as one unit, mm individually somewhat but that's the part that's the hard part is how do you remain individual mm. when coming together because mm. mm. <laughs> like the politics for me is utter bullshit dude so like that part is if those guys are still running it i don't, I don't want them to run the whole of africa but you see uh, <laughs> like <laughs> here's my chat though my thing is what if africa had one currency like the whole it would be stronger dude Right. Back a pound or something like that. Yes. But because we're all in the, like, individual, well, separate countries now that we can get screwed over very heavily by international trade. Exactly, because every country has a different currency. Because we can, we can hardly even stand up for ourselves. We can as people, mm. but we don't have the infrastructure to compete with the first world. I see. If all the continent, all the countries in Africa compromise and say, you know what? Screw it. Let's have one currency. And it's not, I, I don't think it would be a central government mm -hmm. ruling one whole continent. I think instead we have uh, a council mm -hmm. of literally every country in Africa, mm -hmm. leaders of every country in Africa. Representing all of their own cultures. Yeah. And so that's like, the thing like is, Africa Olympics, but Africa's crazy diverse, dude. Mm. Even that same lecturer when I was younger, he said, like, in, in Nigeria, there's like 120 different tribes of people that are still speaking all different languages yeah. while they struggle to communicate with each other. Amazing. So, yeah, with 11, it's quite a bit, but <laughs> 120 is a whole other yeah. thing. So, that's the thing is, like, within each space, there's a lot, like, of cultural differences as well, yeah. which makes it confusing. Like, so. Who can actually be the one that stands on behalf of the uh, country? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. But I think I think if that if that were to happen, I would get to the bank of the girl. Yeah. Africa will strive. Well, uh, we'll no longer be forced into the third world for cheap labor. Because <laughs> that's kind of, sadly now the situation is. Mm. It's, 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 it's like a space. 
Like now. You can go to space. Mm. <laughs> well, no, there is actually that one guy. It's not Pat Seat and the Fair it's that other guy. But some other rich South African wanted to build commercial flight to mm. space as well for the States. Well, so I'm not sure what's actually happening with that. I've only seen actually like Bezos flight to space recently this and that. Mm. But I know there was a guy in South Africa with a plan to do that. I don't know if Bezos is going in space. <laughs> mm. I don't know what's going on in space either, dude. Bro, imagine. I'm a heavy so... conspiracy theorist, so like, space is a whole other <laughs> argument for me, dude. Like, I don't know what the fuck Bro. is going on there, dude. Imagine being so rich that you bury your will on the moon. You bury your will on the moon? Because you're a treasure. Shit. And you like. I don't you know. know. You put tools and maps and everything for that one. <laughs> I guess you plan on having kids. Yeah. That one grandchild or great great grandchild who will get seven generations down, it's like yeah. fuck the system, I wanna <laughs> do some shit. We got hunt for some treasure. Like there's 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 <laughs> crews, bro. Up, <laughs> yeah. And you put like you for the future. Bro, and you put like crazy numbers on someone like you get like three trillion. And like after you die. That's ridiculous the <laughs> 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 it's the only movie, but I guess dude. when you got that Bezos money or Microsoft money, like I think they, I don't know if they trillionaires yet, but in rand they're hundred percent. Mm. But I know they're billionaires <laughs> in dollars. Oh. But yeah, I don't know. I think that will always be crazy, dude. I know so many people who have like just in their life been like. Where's the quest at, dude? Yeah. <laughs> like, someone give me a fucking quest. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It's a trippy one. Yeah. Would you take your real like trigger hunt? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like even if it was in the freaking Amazon jungle. Dude, hundred percent. I want to go to Amazon. <laughs> dude, I want to go to Amazon with other treasure hunt. Crazy. I'll just walk through the jump. You man. They're scared. Like, of anacondas, freaking panthers. Dude, I think crazy. more scary than any animal. Is one of the tribes inside there calling a spear through you? Yeah. Because this is some random dude and walking past. And was, was awesome. Dude, dude no. there's that. And then never mind, like just mosquitoes or whatever else can, or like some virus that will just give you the <laughs> shits for a week until you die. Like you it's know, way more scary than a leopard attacking you, dude. <laughs> what if like a spider got the side of your head? Dude. <laughs> nah, bro. Dude. Like some other shit all together, dude. I don't know about that. <laughs> But uh, I 100% will go to the Amazon. Mm. If mm-hmm. I have the opportunity in my lifetime, I'll 100% do it. If like I had a treasure map leading to the Bahamas or something. Bahamas? Yeah. End up on the beach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 You take your time and you can go to the hotel. Mm-hmm. Go hunt for treasure on the weekend night. Bye bye, the pool in the day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, that, that would be <laughs> sick, dude. The yeah. treasure hunt, dude, the proper one. Yeah. Dude, like, weirdly enough, in one of these other podcasts as well, I was talking to someone similar about it, but like, dude, did you ever watch that movie, National Treasure? With Nicholas Cage. I think it was Nicholas Cage, dude. National Treasure. What is it about? When they, when they found a map to some shit on the, what, the Declaration of Independence? There was a map to some shit there, and then they had to open Mount Rushmore and all sorts of weird things, dude. I don't know, I'm not sure. But that's old, that dude. Really. It's back in the day. Well, not old, old, but yeah, it's old actually. <laughs> like, I don't know, I can't even do maths like that of how old some things are. But it's like that, dude. And we're just like, what if an artist actually put the quest on the back of their work? Like, if you are a rich artist, like Banksy level artist, you have hella rich people buying your shit. Mm. So they can afford to go on such quests. Hmm. True, yeah. So if you were a big artist, that's like obviously something you should look into. Like, okay. Okay. Because, yeah, dude. The random quest. Like, because the thing is, think about it. If someone could spend like a hundred millions on an artwork, mm. they can go travel anywhere in the world they like. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and do your thing. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I think you'd be the coolest ancestor if you did that. 
How do you make sure it lasts that many generations? You make so someone sure could like when you die now, someone could go in the book and be like, bro. ah, GPS location. <laughs> 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 Google map. <laughs> 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 what would you do if you find a treasure map? It's like a it's like a Google Maps code, dude. And you type it in, and it's like, <laughs> and <laughs> and put it in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Because the thing is, like, ten generations down, do you think your great 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 grandkids can use a map? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> like already now people can't use maps. That's what I'm saying. We make a tradition. We make a ritual. Mm. And we like we, we repeat it and make it fun until it like even generations down the line will remember it. Yeah, just yeah. so they can pass it down. Mm. Yeah, I know someone will get but like there's a treasure map hidden in this game that you keep playing. Mm. Or like. Or well, the thing is, like, you actually do it, and then everyone else in the family is in the hide, ah, bullshit, and, uh, mm. bullshit. and then one guy's in there, I'll go check. Mm. Yeah. Find it. <laughs> That's a crazy yeah. part, dude. Yeah. 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 But treasure on space, though, is a mantra. Yeah. yeah. You put treasure on the moon. Like, I think you are honestly, like, one of the first <laughs> like, people to think of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone's like, always trying to get there and you're like, just fucking put treasure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, 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 dude. It's literally space. <laughs> yeah. We have more space, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, space is mad, dude. Space is confusing nowadays, though, with all these aliens. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah. Or do you yes, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I believe there are aliens. No, I don't believe there's a thing just flying around here. Thank <laughs> <Like>, you. <laughs> So you believe there's there's life forms like outside of this planet? Yeah, hundred percent. Interesting. And you? I don't know, man. Aliens? I don't think our our, our presentation of them or representation of them is like doing justice. Yeah. Well, know. the thing is like because we're humans, we haven't really seen them. Also, you know, we we also like are very cocky as humans. Yeah. So we build ourselves as a superior form. So we're like, oh, this thing is just going to have a bigger head than us yeah. and have slightly things that's different to us. So we yeah. directly think of us yeah. as a translation of what the alien will become. Yeah. When the alien could be interdimensional, it could be just a floating head, it could be anything. I always, like, think, <laughs> of, I always think of Avatar. Remember Avatar, Avatar the Bill of Food. Yeah, the, with the, with the blue, the blue Avatar mm-hmm. type thing. Like, in a society like that, like if that was, if that if they were aliens, I would think of that kind of society. Mm. You know, they are on a different planet. So, I don't know. I I do think perhaps they are living things outside of Earth. Yeah. Mm. yeah. The thing is, there is like human caused aliens mm. that exist, which mm. is like on the moon. There was some point where. Some spaceship went up and spoke tardigrades. Mm. I don't know if you know what those are. But, like, have you ever watch Ant Man? Yeah. You know, when he's moving through that, like, the quantum, realm. quantum realm and there's that big oh. thing with the six legs mm. and the mm. face? Mm. It's one of those. It's like a moon baby. Oh, okay. But that thing, they spilt on space. Okay. So, it's like, they are microorganisms, mm. but, like, they are technically aliens. And if they are surviving, then they are like one of the hardiest species alive. That's mm. an alien. <laughs> it's yeah. just we caused it. Then. <laughs> Damn. That's no. That's crazy. Humans are weird things. Like what we're capable of. Like and we don't even think about it like that much. Mm. When they're like because we're like oh that's tiny. It's uh, what is that? But also COVID is that tiny and they could lose all their shit. Nice. Like <laughs> or less tiny. <laughs> cool. I'm not actually sure. Humans are isolated. Wow. Yeah. But as far as those like tardigrades go in space, mm. it is weird because on the moon there's different gravity, different different like things influencing. Well, I wouldn't say gravity, but just different like forces mm. that could make this thing grow bigger, evolve way quicker, okay. 
It is a kind of death to it. It's going to be a crazy thing because it's going to be these weird six legged things defending the moon one day when we try to go back to if we ever go back or if such a thing existed. <laughs> Do you believe that was real? What? The moon yeah. landings. <laughs> 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 you can leave it as question mark, dude. Yeah. You don't have to answer the question. <laughs> yeah, that's a question mark. Bro. Yeah, that's a question mark. I've seen theory that support that statement. Yeah. Let's say the the moon landing was, you know, was a conspiracy. Mm-hmm. And I've seen things that substantiate that it was real. Yeah. So. I think that's what, what they like to do though. Yeah. They're going to mess with that. Like, like if it's something fake, mm. why not make it slightly real yeah. as well? Or if it's, if it's completely real, make it slightly yeah. fake yeah. so people still ask questions. Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. But I will say that I do believe that we have the capability as human beings to make it to the moon. Make it to the moon. Mm. Yeah, definitely. That without a doubt. I think it's just stressful. Like I'm sure like a lot of guys will be like, yeah, send me to the fucking moon. But how many people will actually do it? Mm-hmm. Like the idea of like, yeah, I go to the go to the moon. Fuck yeah, that sounds but there's cool. also a lot of things. But then consider. actually getting in a tin and going <laughs> all the way to the moon, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the Martian the Martian. Yeah, yeah. You see, like learning to survive on the moon, bro. You need potatoes. Like, there's a whole <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole lot of things to consider. Like, yeah. the soil on the moon, does the moon even have soil? Mm. Can we grow stuff? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's the thing is, we're going to have to take a lot of that there, and a lot of that sort of like, stuff is very heavy. Mm. And the days of flying faster on the moon. Mm. Because you the, the, the rotation of that, that moon's orbit is different to the one on Earth. Yeah. Check. Have you ever checked? Interstellar, dude. Mm. Like a time like that is a mind fuck, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Imagine going down, doing something for five minutes to go up between 40 years. Yeah, dude. huge. That's a massive mind fuck. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's heavy, bro. Because, yeah, there is weird, like, things in play there that I don't think we'll ever completely understand. Mm. I think we can, we can, like, attempt to, but, uh, like, I think in human form, we're limited. Mm. Yeah. Like we'll only think of these things in one way or, or in maybe a material way or mm-hmm. when there could be complete spiritual answers to this, there could be quantum, like further quantum research that goes into yeah. like answering these things, like it could be any like thing in between. Yeah. But because I think we just look at things too materially, it's going to be a confusing one to try and figure out. Yeah. <laughs> The universe is big. Yeah. 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 That's why I believe there's aliens there as well. Mm. Because it's big enough for there to be aliens. Yeah. I just hope we don't mess up our tree. Yeah, dude. I, I think we're trying now, dude. Yeah. Like, the thing is, like, you can argue a lot of things, but in the end, people do recover. People do still stand up. People still do, like, things like, as much as we are souls often, <laughs> like, there is still people out there that are trying, dude, mm. which is crazy. Mm. And even after all of this um, writing and things like that, like, a week later, Oaks are feeling, coming together, like, Oaks are willing mm. to yeah. try, dude. I think it's just the hard part is, like, people want to do something, but they don't know what to do. Mm. That's the hardest question, is, like, what do you do? Like, <laughs> oh, I mean... Oh, well, is how for me? Mm-hmm. How can I help? In terms of what, finding, finding out what to do. I mean, there's so many places of research to find that. And mm-hmm. times I do find that that kind of plays part of a role of making an excuse. But I do understand that what you mean when you say that trying to find out what to do. Mm. Um, I think if you really care about 
the state of, of the country in which you live in, then you will do your utmost to like help in the most meaningful way, even if you start with your own community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which I find something to do. Yeah, dude. Like, you see yeah. a person, if you know someone who's lost their job, but they have a specific set of skills that you feel like you could link up with somebody, mm. you know? Uh, yeah, bro. I think this is a time where a lot of um, a lot of people's future is going to entangle, you know, mm. because there isn't so much uh, assurance because of the pandemic and so many things going down left and right. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing is every it, like before some people never had to live day to day or understand what anything like that was. And suddenly, a lot of people have been thrown into it as well. So, like, the future is a confusing one, and those are just trying to live day to day by day. Like, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, all in all, there's often. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to continue this podcast, or mm-hmm. do you want to cut it here? Uh, I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. I get now. Thank you for having me, bro. Oh, wait, yeah, of course, bro. Yeah, no, this is dope, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, fuck <laughs> you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sweet. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs>